wow this lighting is actually really um not that bad Will you take part in my what's up it's Hannah and first of all if you cannot tell I am back at college this is my sorority house welcome to my room maybe I'll do a tour maybe I won't I don't really know um, I live with a roommate so it kind of just depends on how she feels also uh, she doesn't know I have a YouTube channel or make YouTube videos yet it's currently blizzarding outside <laughs> But I've got some nice cool lighting coming from both windows. I actually feel like this is going to be a really nice filming spot and I have a nice little rolly chair. Look at this guys. It spins. I really am living the life right now. But today I am going to be doing a lazy girls college makeup routine. This is literally going to be the routine that I do on an everyday basis. And just for context, I have 8 AMs every single day. <laughs> except Friday. Today's video is just gonna be what I do on an everyday basis. This is literally the makeup I do like 20 minutes before my 8 a.m. class so this is nothing fancy at all I can promise you that maybe this will help you guys if you are going into college or maybe even if you're in like high school and you still have to wake up early and you're just like I literally hate everything about life. So starting off, I am going to spray my face with some setting spray. This is the Pixi Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist. I love this stuff so much. This is 100% my favorite setting spray I've ever found. The mist is so fine. I don't know. I really like it. I'm gonna spray my face with it. Basically, the goal that we're going for with this makeup routine is just to look alive. Because here's the thing. I don't hate the way my skin looks, although my skin has actually been quite bad lately. Thank you to my birth control, bless up, but <laughs> when I don't wear makeup, I look dead. I look like a zombie. I look like somebody that has been risen from the grave. My skin naturally is just so dull. I think it's because I have naturally dry skin. It was kind of combo for a little while and now it's just literally the Sahara Desert, especially right now because it's freezing outside and so there is just no moisture. I don't really know what the point of my tangent was. Oh yes, the point of my makeup routine is just to make me look more alive and more awake and less like, oh, she like is on the brink of death. Now we're going to get into the base products. So starting off, I like to use this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. It's very glowy, like very glowy. So if you have oily skin, maybe not your thing but if you have super dry skin this is honestly going to be perfect for you because it really does just like almost give you like an oily look but it's kind of flattering i don't know i like it you will just see me get more and more like shiny as this video progresses for foundation i've been using the nyx bear with me tinted skin veil this is like a weird product i like it but it's weird. This is the most skin-like foundation I have ever found in my entire life. When you blend this into your skin, it doesn't have a matte finish, it doesn't have a satin finish, it doesn't have a dewy finish, it literally just has like a like a like a skin finish. But anyway, yes, getting back to my how my first semester has been. It's been interesting. Um, I moved rooms. I used to live upstairs on the third floor of this house and now I live on the first floor which is honestly kind of nice because we have I have first of all way more windows I literally lived in a closet <laughs> last semester which I'm really not complaining about honestly I ended up kind of loving my room last semester even though it was tiny now I'm gonna take my little ego tools blender I've been trying this lately and I like it but I've also found that I'm not super picky with sponges so Take my thought process with a grain of salt on that. The combination of this skin tint and this primer, like the Essence Primer, is one of the prettiest things I've ever found. Like, I really did like this foundation before, but then I started using it with this primer and I was like, oh my god, my skin looks like a baby's butt. Holy shit. Okay, now I'm going to use this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is like the hydrating version of their original camo concealer, which I hate. I do not like the original e.l.f. Camo Concealer. It's just way too drying. It reminds me so much of Shape Tape, and I 
<sighs> don't crucify me don't like shape tape it's just way too drying I rode the shape tape train the freaking bandwagon for a very long time and I was like it, it is the most amazing thing I promise it's not fun fact actually I found out my favorite way to blend out this concealer is with my fingers don't ask me why. I think it just looks really nice when you blend it out with your finger. Most of my classes this semester are more like focused around my major. Um, I am taking a class about the Holocaust. I'm very excited about it. I've been to two classes for it so far and honestly I think it's going to be maybe my favorite class that I've taken in college so far. I love history. I'm not a history major because Frankly, I don't want to be a teacher and I don't know exactly what else I could do with a history major. I'm going to take my Too Faced Born This Way powder and set all of that down. I really like my teacher so far. He reminds me of a teacher that I had in um, high school. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and set all of that down. Okay, there's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and I use the exact same method that I've been using for like... A very long time I just take the shade Sexpresso from this old ass Too Faced palette like this is so like gross but it's like the only shade I've ever found that works really well because look if you dye your hair black which might not be a lot of you but I do it's really hard to find like a good eyebrow shade because originally I started out just literally filling them in black and that is just a little too intense so now I've been using this shade instead and I really like it because it's a little less uh, like in your face like hi I have black hair eyebrows are done we're gonna comb them through a little bit just so it looks like we have those like feather brows because like I am a model I am gonna walk down a runway with my feathery eyebrows obviously now for like the best part uh, my eyeshadow for my eyeshadow I use wait for it the classiest of products a bronzer <laughs> this is like the true lazy girls eyeshadow look because look I went through a phase in college especially around like my freshman year where I would just not wear anything on my eyes but now <laughs> I realize that it looks a lot better or I feel like it looks a lot better if I have something on my eyelids to just like give them like a little bit of dimension you know what I'm saying so that's what I do now it's time for mascara I use the Milani highly rated mascara I used to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which honestly is so much better than this, but look, <laughs> this was on sale at Target, so this is what I'm using right now. And if you get some on your eyes, just like literally wipe it off. It doesn't even matter, guys. One thing that I have started doing that is uh, odd to me because I never thought that I would do this in my whole life because I used to think it looked so weird, but it is put on bottom lash mascara. I never did this ever not in my entire life because I was like it looks spidery it looks weird and then one day randomly last semester I was like look I'm gonna try putting mascara on my bottom lashes and uh, I, I gotta do it now now it's time for like some of the most important steps because these are really the steps that will add life back to my face so first off blush I use this elf primer infused blush in the shade always cheeky this is freaking amazing honestly last semester probably would have been more convenient to start filming videos again because I lived in a very secluded part of the house but you live and you learn you know now like I said because I am lazy and I like to reduce the amount of products I use by as much as possible for both my highlight and bronzer and my eyeshadow I use this tiny little tart tart tartist pro glow to go palette lately i've been experimenting with a fan also i'm sorry if i keep moving it's just so natural for me i have been experimenting with a fan brush for highlight i don't know how i feel about it okay it does diffuse the highlight very much to the point where it almost sometimes looks like i'm not wearing highlight at all but i like it kind of so i don't know i'm gonna go in with the shade burst which is like this yellow color but i don't know it kind of makes it look pretty but it also kind of shears it out a lot so I can't decide if I like like it or not but it's all right we're working with what we've got for now I'm gonna take a little bit more and just pop that on the tops of my cheekbones and then lastly I'm going to do my bronzer and I'm going to take just this kind of like angled brush I'm just gonna take this and 
bronze away. Ooh, that's a strong, harsh bronzer. Okay, we're gonna blend that out. I promise it usually does not look like that when I do it. I'm just doing this in a very haphazard manner. Oh my god, that's... Okay, it's fine. We'll blend it out. We will blend it out. It's okay, guys. All right, lastly... We're gonna do a lip product, which is also funny because I used to never wear lip product. Recently, I've gotten back into lip gloss, which is very funny because lip gloss is one of those things that I thought I would hate for the rest of my life. Um, I never liked it because I was like, it's sheer, it's sticky. Sheer lip products are like my life now. I feel like a lot of people have really hopped on like the sheer makeup bandwagon and I understand why because it's genuinely like the best thing you could ever do for yourself especially if you have dry skin because like dude matte products make me look like a freaking cake and i can't do it but this is the l'oreal glowing lip gloss in the shade sunday fun day and let me just show you like this formula magic literally this makes my lips look so moisturized so this is like just a random lip gloss that i just found on like a walmart shelf but it's so freaking good the only thing i don't like about it is the scent because it literally smells like straight up kool-aid like it smells so sugary but it makes my lips look so nice and then lastly of course because we can't do anything without adding you know some more glow it's time for the pixie mist again so <laughs> That is the entire makeup routine. This is what I do when I'm getting ready for class, and this is what, you know, I would recommend you do. I'm just kidding. Do your makeup however you want to, but I thought this would be fun to kind of film for you guys because not that I ever get any questions about it because, first of all, I haven't made videos in two centuries, but also uh, I just don't get that many questions about my makeup, but <laughs> if you are somebody who's going into college or maybe even you're just like in high school or maybe you just have a job and you have to wake up early, I don't know. A lot of people have to wake up early in their life. I have 8 a.m. It sucks. I hate it. I know. We'll get through it together. This is a good routine. And maybe if you're dry, just cut out some of the really oily steps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell right next to it. And also like this video so the YouTube algorithm knows that it's a good video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.